Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about luxury ski wear. I've been obsessed with skiing lately. Um, I went to Stowe, I went to upstate New York, and I have another trip planned to Tahoe. So I'm super excited about skiing this year, and it's a good like pandemic hobby. Um, it's good exercise, a little bit of travel. There's just really just nothing bad about skiing. So um, I figured it was time to invest in proper ski wear. I kind of started out with a really basic pair of Amazon ski pants. They were maybe $35, $45, and they were really actually great quality. Um, so if you're starting out and you're a beginner to skiing, I'd recommend something really inexpensive like that because skiing can be very expensive, very pricey. Um, but if you are into skiing and you especially love kind of the appraise scene um, and you want something a bit more flattering, then I have a couple of really great uh, luxury ski brands to show you today. And I personally was curious to see if designer ski wear would actually be worth the money. Um, these pants and bibs range from about like four to six hundred dollars, so they're definitely very expensive. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that they were worth the investment. So let's get right into the try on. Okay, so first up, I have a couple pairs of pants from a brand called Wagner. They are a German company. They uh, make ski wear for the German Olympic team. They have a fire and ice line, which is kind of their technical performance gear line. Um, and the kind of claim to fame with Bogner is that they film a lot of the action scenes for a lot of the old classic Bond movies. So I had really high expectations for this. Bond movies, you know, a lot of action, a lot of glitz, a lot of glamour. Um, so I tried out, I think I have two pairs for Bogner to show you. This is the first pair. It's called Missoula. I got this in my regular size and it's a size four slash US 34. Um, this one is meant to be a very kind of tight fitting, figure hugging pair of pants. There are basically no pockets on this. So that was a little disappointing considering these are kind of expensive. Um, in general, I don't really care about pockets on my ski pants all that much because I always wear a ski jacket and my ski jacket has tons of pockets. Um, I just have an inexpensive jacket from Amazon. Um, it's like a baby blue and it's easy to spot me in the mountain. It's got tons of pockets all over so I store everything kind of up top. Um, so if that's you then you might like these pants. They're very very flattering. I would say they run a little bit tight though. I'd probably size up if I were to keep them. Um, they are fleece lines. So they're very warm, very comfortable. Um, very breathable as well. They have snow guards and I really like the seam details on these. They've got this kind of swooping um, function on the back so they kind of lift your butt and then they have some reinforcements on the knees that kind of look like like moto leggings or you know motorcycle pants um, and they have this cute belt as well. The belt is like a stretchy kind of like it reminds me of like the Moncler jacket belts. Um, it's not really for function like it's not going to tighten the waist anymore um, but it is really cute to look at. I also like that this one has contrasting zippers. So you've got the black belt, which is like a nice accent against the white pants. And then the legs have zippers. And these are like also a contrasting black that matches the belt. So I thought that was a really cute design feature. Um, if you want to try these out, I think they're worth a shot. Okay, then the second pair of pants I have from Bogner is... This pair, this one is really great if you're a snowboarder because these come up super high. Um, they have a kind of like reinforced guard in the back with a little bit of padding and just like an extra high rise. So if you're a snowboarder, you kind of sit on the ground a lot, sit on the snow, and a pant like this that comes up super high is great to keep out all the dampness. Um, these also have a kind of contrast accent design that I thought was really cute. It kind of makes them look like tuxedo pants. Um, they come in a ton of different colors but um, I went for the white because I thought the black accents were a nice contrast. Uh, these have a button and then what I like about these is you can tighten the waist. They have these velcro straps and um, so you can really cinch it in the waist and you can go a size up the pants and then cinch in the waist to get a better fit on the waist. Um, generally with ski pants I like to try both my regular size and one size up because when you're wearing base layers underneath it can be a little bit restrictive with skin tight um, ski pants. So these I got in my usual size which is a 4 slash US uh, EU 34. Um, I like that it has a lot of pockets as well, it has more pockets than the other version I just showed. It's got a small, um, two small hand pockets on the front and then two back pockets as well. 
And this one also has zippers on the bottom of the legs to expand over your boots and snow guards. Um, basically all ski pants should have snow guards. So these are a really great pair, especially if you are a snowboarder because they're like high, but they're um, more sleek and more streamlined than traditional snowboarding pants. And then I also did try one bib from Bogner. Um, it's their newest bib, it's called the Ivy, and I tried it on in store when I was on my ski trip. Um, I thought it was a really cute color combination. I tried it on in this like beige, hot pink color blocking um, version, but it also comes in black as well. It was super lightweight, very comfortable, but still warm. The legs flare out a little bit, they have zippers as well, um, and they also had the Velcro adjustable straps on the waist, and the straps are fully adjustable, so you can really get a great fit with the Bogner bibs um, and the pants because they have a lot of kind of customization to them. And in general, I thought it was really great quality, um, very comfortable to wear sometimes. Ski pants, when they're fleece lined and they're super waterproof, they can be a little bit heavy. It can feel like putting on like a thick, heavy layer, but the um, Ivy bib is super lightweight. So if you have the budget, then check that out. I have a bib from Helly Hansen. Uh, personally, I prefer ski bibs. I like a one piece. I like feeling kind of sucked in, especially when I'm wearing a lot of different layers. Um, so I tried out the, I think it's called the Legendary Bib. I thought it had a, really, a lot of really nice design features. It has this front bib, lots of pockets, big Velcro pocket up top, and then it has kind of like a cargo style leg, um, which I really liked. I thought this was really cute. It has a zipper here and then a big Velcro pocket where you can store. It's big enough to store like your phone, hand, war hand warmers, anything you need. Um, it's a relaxed fit, kind of just straight leg all the way down. The legs do have zippers as well to expand over your boots. And then the nice thing about this one is it has a really deep zipper on the side, so it makes it really easy to get in and out of the bib and also to go to the bathroom. Um, it basically can unzip from your, like right under the armpit all the way down to like your knee. So that's always a really nice feature. Um, the straps are adjustable. Helly Hansen's a great brand, it's very like, technical performance gear. A lot of their bibs and pants have Gore-Tex, so very, very waterproof. Um, and a lot of times you will see like the staff on the mountain wearing um, Helly Hansen, so it's a great brand to check out. I also tried out this ski suit from Cordova, which is stunning. It's a one piece. The top is meant to look like a bomber jacket. It's made out of wool with this really high kind of funnel neck collar that will keep you nice and warm. Um, there's two giant pockets on the front and then the bottom portion is kind of like leggings. Unfortunately, it was a little too tight for me. I couldn't fit base layer leggings underneath. Maybe not the most practical outfit, but definitely one of the most stylish. Lastly, I have a couple options from Holden to show you. Holden makes really fashionable, but also really functional ski wear. So the first is this pair of pants. Um, these are a really kind of different, unique design. They've got a lot of stretch to them, so really like easy to move in these. Um, there's a big like stretch panel in the back. Um, I will say the pants run very small. I would definitely size up um, and get a more comfortable fit that way. Um, they have zippers on the backs of the legs so you can expand them over your boots. And Holden in general has pretty loud branding. Um, as you can see on the zipper, it says Holden all over it. Um, same thing with the bib I'll show you, it says Holden like all over it. So if you're into that, then you might like this brand. Um, I thought the uh, pants were really sleek and functional. They're very form fitting, but they do have pockets. So you've got two large front pockets. Um, they're good for like warming your hands, sticking, I don't know, hand warmers, whatever you want. Um, and then the zipper design is pretty interesting. It's got this giant circular key ring zipper. Um, so it's a nice touch. I think these are really, really fashionable. Um, also really functional, very waterproof, very breathable. And these are fleece lined as well, so they'll definitely keep you warm on the slopes. And lastly, I have a bib from Holden. Um, I liked this one a lot. I thought it was really, really well made. Um, it's got basically, fully adjustable straps. Um, like I said, it is a little loud with the branding, uh, but the straps are fully adjustable. They're kind of like pants with suspenders. Um, some bibs are more like full coverage, like the fabric will come all the way up high on the chest and some are more like pants with suspenders. So these are the latter. If you're into that, then you might like this option. Some people don't like bibs because they think it's hard to go to the bathroom. Um, but with this bib, it basically fully unzips on the right side so that you can easily go to the bathroom and then it has a giant vent on the left side as well so you can let out a lot of extra heat that way prevent yourself from getting too hot on the mountain um, i thought this was really great quality it's very thick very waterproof very breathable as well and it has that same kind of key ring design 
Um, it has a ton of pockets and just what felt really nice. Like I couldn't see why this one um, is the price that it is because the just overall materials and the quality and the stitching and everything felt really, really nice. And one other thing I like about the Holden bib is you can layer a lot underneath. Sometimes with bibs, um, because it is a one piece, you are semi-limited in how many layers you can put. Um, but the Holden one, because it's basically the pants with suspender style, you can get away with a base layer or something like this, like something thin, which is this uh, merino wool base layer. Um, and I'm wearing like merino wool leggings as well under ski pants. Um, but then you can also put like a mid layer on. Um, for me, I use a Arteryx like synthetic down jacket. It's very, very thin, um, but it keeps it really warm. Um, you could also do like a wool sweater, um, the Holden one has a lot of room up top to do that uh, without looking like too baggy or like, like you're swimming in fabric. So I think the Holden one is a really nice design. Um, and yeah, I definitely recommend checking out the brand and everything else that I've featured today. And that is everything I have for you today on the kind of luxury ski wear um, end of the spectrum. So hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, maybe I introduced you to some new brands. I'm always on the lookout for new ski brands to try out. So if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments. Um, I do have one last order that hasn't arrived yet, so I'll probably do a separate video on that when it comes. Um, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.